A picture believed to be of Sala following his post-mortem examination was put on Twitter a few weeks ago and police have arrested two people in connection with the incident. A man and a woman have been arrested after an image purporting to show the post-mortem examination of Emiliano Sala was posted on Twitter. The images, which first appeared on social media several weeks ago, allegedly showed the card of footballers remains at the Holly Tree Lodge mortuary in Bournemouth. Wiltshire police say a 48-year-old woman from Corsham has been arrested on suspicion of unauthorized access to computer material, which is an offence under the Computer Misuse Act, and malicious communications and is currently released on conditional bail. And a 62-year-old man from Cowan was also arrested on suspicion of unauthorized access to computer material. He is currently released under investigation. A spokesman for the force said. There is no evidence to suggest a break-in at the mortuary, and no evidence to suggest that any staff from the mortuary, or indeed any other council employees, are involved in any wrongdoing. A Cardiff City FC spokesperson said, Cardiff City FC expresses its disgust and outrage at the individual, individuals who thoughtlessly took and shared the image. Sala, who died aged 28 had just signed for Cardiff from Nantes before disappearing with the pilot of the Piper Malibu private plane after it crashed in the sea north of Guernsey on January 21. Sala's body was recovered on February 6 but David Ibbotson, 59, has not been found. An Air Accidents Investigation Branch, a uh, ABE, preliminary report in February said the pilot was not licensed to fly fee-paying passengers. Sala's body has been examined by a coroner at the morgue for five days before being flown to Argentina for his funeral. An inquest into the Argentine's death in Dorset on February 11 opened and adjourned after hearing how a post-mortem confirmed he had died from head and trunk injuries. Horacio recently showed the tragedy was still on his mind. Talking about the accident that claimed the life of his son, he said, I want to continue investigating all the things that we have to know and the things that we can know. That is all I can ask.